The piece is in Lydian mode at the beginning. I recall Ziegler really liked the harmonic shifts. He actually laughed out loud while I was playing it for the class. And I was like, what? And then he made some kind of comparison with Prokofiev's harmonic shifts. And I was like, oh, okay. At the time, I was intrigued by polytonality. So one tune went through three different keys, each a major third apart. Later on, I played the tune in all three keys at once, resulting in an augmented chord that moves around. Another feature is at the end where I played a six note arpeggio where the intervals keep expanding. It starts in thirds. then expands to fourths then fifths and finally sixth overall it's not a super interesting piece and for some reason I played it really slow it kind of drags next is my synthesizer piece it's only a minute long, and I think the whole thing was the Petrushka chord. That is C major in one hand, and F sharp major in the other. Again, polytonality. What I was trying to demonstrate was the effect that spatial arrangement has on our perception of the harmony. I must have used Dave's Matrix 6 and split the keyboard with each side going on a separate track. Then I pan the tracks together and apart, and depending on where the pan is, you tend to hear the two chords as either separate entities or as a composite harmony. If it doesn't work for you, then maybe try using headphones. <laughs> 